Welcome back to map walkthrough number three. I'm Jade Cougar. I'm going to be your guide for this session once again. We'll be doing map terminal, as you can see right now on the screen. Uh, we have the map overview in front of us now. I'm going to go through a couple of uh, key areas, or a few key areas of this map. Over here in this section here, we've got the lounge, which is connected by escalators that takes you up to a kind of connecting area between the glass hallway and the Burger Town area. Burger Town is that fast food restaurant right here, which uh, a, a lot of people like to hide behind or hide around or hide in the kitchen of. If we continue past Burger Town and go down the main hallway, you will pass by the bookshop on the right side, or depending which side you're, you're referring to on the map overview, it's the right side. Then the middle section, we've got some flowers here. A lot of snipers like to sit in there in, in uh, relative camouflage. It's pretty decent. Then on the left side, we've got the security check-in, which brings us to the agent's uh, office. And we've got the airline agent's desk here. Some people like to hide behind here and pick off whoever's coming in this direction from the airplane or the glass hallway. If we continue further, we've got right here the Dreams Tourist Shop. Across from that, we've got the information desk. And as mentioned, the glass hallway is exactly that. It's a glass windowed hallway, taking you back uh, past the bookshop and all the way to the escalator and lounge area. If you break the glass here, you will be able to get yourselves into the maintenance shed, which is situated outside. And to get on top of the maintenance shed, you go via the lounge area up the ladder onto the roof, break the window, and you're out there. Then, of course, we actually have the outside area, which has one main plane that you can get in on from the emergency slide that's already deployed there, plus an open hatch at the back of the airplane. All right, let's jump in game. We'll give it a go. All right, at this moment, we are now in the agent's office. Here's the agent's check-in, as I was telling about before. Or the baggage check-in, perhaps continue down this way. There's Burger Town right down the, the hallway. Security check-in. We've got over here the bookshop. Quite a lot of people are hiding in these corners watching people just run by. So you may want to keep that in mind. Here's the flowers. People like to, to lay down in and if you've got camouflage on, depending on the type of camouflage, you can actually be pretty decently covered here. Hey, okay, the bookshop. This is a good hiding spot as well, watching people run by. Keep you in and out of battle. You can jump in and out, throw nades, jump back. All right, then past Burger Town here, with a number of tables. We'll head into the kitchen briefly, kitchen area. Isn't great for visibility, but it's a, it's a decent hiding spot. Some people like to hide behind these counters. It gives reasonable camouflage, or you can give, you can hide fairly easy here, but uh, certainly doesn't give you much protection. Okay, and we've got the connecting area between Burger Town and the lounge. If anyone comes up with a better name, you let me know. Connecting area, whatever. We got the lounge. Heads us downstairs. Awfully bloody. Terrible airport. I wouldn't want to come here. All right, we got a bar with a bad connection for sports. All right, we got a bar. And we got the washrooms over here. Right beside the washrooms will take us up the ladder, which takes us up on the roof. You'll see almost always somebody up here. Always picking somebody off. And depending on what game mode you're playing, if you've got the uh, headquarters game mode, there will be a headquarters uh, objective right about here. So you'll always have some action around this area. All right, on top of the maintenance shed takes us outside, overlooking the outside of the tarmac, the plane itself, the glass hallway, and the lounge. It's actually a pretty good spot to, to stay in for recon purposes or sniping, whatever. Then down below we actually have the maintenance area. There really isn't a lot in here, except again, a lookout of what's going on down below. Okay, we'll head down to the tarmac. There isn't really a huge amount of uh, places here. There's a couple places that you can you can hide in if you really want to. They're kind of out of the way though. Oh, 
Well, that was smart. Let's do that again, Jade. <laughs> okay, we'll head back to the uh, glass hallway instead of going out the, the lounge. Break through the glass, get us to the maintenance shed, as I was telling before, and then get us outside to the tarmac. The place I was going to show is right here. Some people like to sit here and watch what's happening in the lounge area, as it is a pretty active area for people running in and out. Okay. Then over here we have this uh, gas truck. You can get on top of it. Some people like to sit up here with a sniper rifle. It's a little bit too exposed for my liking. Again, you've got your explodable objects, you've got your propane tank up there. Should be exploding. But I have a lovely P90. There we go. Look at that. Then we got the plane, and as I mentioned, there are both hatches. There are two hatches. The side hatch and the back hatch. And we're on the back hatch, which you can actually hide back there. Hold on. Alright. And here we are. When you're at the front side of the plane looking at the back, um, once again, the, the dark background does help you um, get that first shot off usually. So it's not a bad spot. You can also pick off people coming through here. If you're playing, again, objective-based games, there is an objective right up there and the right beside the side hatch of the plane. So this is a pretty decent spot to guard both the front and back side of the plane. Okay, now we're inside of the plane. This is also one hiding spot some people use. And right here will be your objective. Side hatch. Now there is a glitch that has been shown uh, how you can jump from here to that, that box right there and get yourself on top of the plane. And this one is extremely difficult to do on PC. I haven't been able to succeed no matter how many times I've tried. So just keep in mind that there, there might be some people trying that out. One other location is the cockpit of the plane. A lot of snipers like to sit here and pick people off, going past the glass hallway. Or then on the maintenance shed as well. And we continue here. The ramp area taking us down to the plane, or back into the terminal, depending on how you look at it. Also some stairways heading down to the tarmac. This tarmac area is rather interesting here because those that are getting kill streaks, this is this is pretty much your only spot for getting getting your uh, packages in. Too many times it's happened that people inside of the terminal have tried to get their packages inside, and it actually gets stuck up on the roof, <laughs> which makes for a lot of fun. You can't get your packages, so be aware of that. There are places that you can drop your packages. Basically, all these white places are theoretically windows, so. Some people I've seen throw their packages uh, against the wall, which bounces off into this white area. But whatever, use your own your own way to do it. So, and we got the info desk right here, the info desk, and then behind me is Dreams Tourist Shop. So our main areas are the agent's desk and office, the security check-in, the bookshop. Burger Town. We've got the connecting area and the lounge down below. The glass hallway right here. The lounge. And we got ourselves the tarmac outside. You can use even further locations. Backside tarmac would be covering this area and this area. And we've got the plane. Back hatch, side hatch, front hatch. Pretty simple. Three different entrances and exits. Then the cockpit. And that's basically it. We're back at square one again. Alright. My task this time is not to really show too many glitches. Um, it, it wasn't my purpose this time around. I'm trying to pump out these maps a little bit more quick for you guys. Um, there's plenty of information on the web at how to, to do some of the other tricks and tweaks in the game. I'm not going to do it for this particular map, but I hope that this has provided you with some information, at least the locations that we're going to try to use at UGF. Those that are guests, 
uh, that are viewing the, the map and also members. Uh, please comment on the maps themselves. Uh, preferably not it sucks or you suck or anything like that. We already know the truth about that, so don't bother trying to convince me otherwise. <laughs> but please do comment on the maps. The map walkthroughs, are they useful or not? What would you like to see differently? And, and so on and so forth. All right. I want to thank you for joining today. Um, please visit our website, www.unitedgamingfederation.net, and we'll see you in game. Thank you.